earth and heaven. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, 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 when you get down from the, you know, the, uh, and from the deeps, he talks of the hell, the storm, the clouds, the storm, the winds. Everything must be able to praise the Lord. The mountains, the hills, of all be able to praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers of the earth, mm -hmm. we must be able to praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. It goes on to say that uh, both young men and maidens, mm -hmm. old men and children, mm -hmm. must be able to praise the Lord. Uh -huh. So it's important uh, that as we sit, we need to hear the Lord, to exhort the Lord, to praise the Lord for all things that is able to do in our lives. Mm -hmm. Things that we can be able to perceive with our own eyes and certain things that we can be able to, we can, uh, the creator, the one who sustains us, the one who defends us, mm -hmm. and the one who keeps us through mm -hmm. all times. Awesome. May his name be praised. Awesome. We bless God for the timely word there coming through from our uh, chair. And uh, we definitely have to praise God, uh, gentlemen, in all circumstances. All right, so um, uh, Andrew is unable to join us today, and uh, we anticipate that uh, he'll be able to join us next weekend. Um, Fundisi also is unable to join us. Lucy uh, is unable to join us. The son has toothache, but hopefully uh, he'll be pretty much uh, better uh, very soon. All right, so we wish uh, him a quick recovery. All right, so um, today we have a three-prong attack in a tactical 4-3-3 formation, <laughs> all right? And uh, the center forward being the young protege, Mapalo, they are supported by Chair and uh, Jerry uh, on either flank as we go all guns blazing for the go mount. All right, now, gentlemen, we have a lot to look at from uh, uh, today's uh, point of view. Now, one item that really caught my attention during the week had to do with the uh, Changa Rangers selling their replica jersey at 750 kwacha. <laughs> Apparently, Changa Rangers are in Division 1. Of course, we want to have people buy the jersey, as, as many as they can. But let's just pick it up from that point of view. Gentlemen, at 750 kwacha, is that a fair price? Let me start with you, Jerry, before uh, Mapalo and Che get to come in as well. It sounds uh, over the top, uh, Lorenzo. Or preposterous. To buy... In your old words. <laughs> <laughs> To buy a replica shirt uh -huh. at 750 kwacha. Yeah. When uh, normally I think they go for around 300, 350. Even, and then even at that amount. Even 200, uh, you can get one. Even at that amount, people say, look, they're a bit expensive. Then you go up to uh -huh. 750. Uh -huh. I haven't seen this for half of that amount, less Absolutely. than half, actually. So yeah, people yeah. opt for, for, for the t uh, shirts of the better known teams. And like you said, they're in Division 1. So mm -hmm. we don't know the reasoning behind that. Probably uh -huh. they're trying to raise funds. Uh -huh. But then how, how how many shirts are you going to sell if you're overpricing them? Absolutely. That's the thing. Uh, with yeah. replica shirts, you try and strike a balance between um, uh, the costs, what it's going to cost the fans, mm -hmm. and uh, the volumes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the more volumes that you turn, mm -hmm. the better for you. You make uh, much more money than that. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, in Zambia, I don't think I should sell Maybe they don't even sell 5,000 shirts, mm -hmm. 10,000, no, maybe they will sell in mm -hmm. 1,000 uh, range and so on. Mm -hmm. So Rangers maybe need to do a rethink. Um, if uh, the, the source of their jerseys is, uh, is expensive, such that they have to price the replicas at 750, mm -hmm. maybe they should look for another supplier of their shirts so they mm -hmm. can uh, provide the replica shirts to their fans and followers at a reasonable cost. Absolutely. All right, pretty shocking at 750 kwacha. All right, uh, you can also catch us live on YouTube. Uh, all you need to simply do is uh, log on to YouTube and then look for Lorenzo Entertainment TV. All right, please watch us live and subscribe on the red button and then you'll be able to, to catch us live. All right, we're switching to YouTube because of transmission breaks that we'd actually experienced on Facebook. So we're trying out YouTube and please get onto that and then watch us live. Post your comments in the comment section. Tell us what you think and tell us where you're watching us from. We we'll definitely appreciate it. It's a roller coaster ride right, to 13. All right, Mapalo at 750 kwacha. How many Liverpool replica jerseys can you buy for yourself and your own? Oh. I'll use own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me, uh, me and my own. Ah, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I like that. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, it's uh, I I really love to find out from the top uh -huh. why actually. Um, their jerseys are that expensive uh -huh. because, um, well, <laughs> I don't know how many fans can actually afford. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. uh, Vajeri has already mentioned, it's it's absolutely mm -hmm. absurd. Mm -hmm. it, <laughs> I don't understand why a Division One team's jersey can be 
that, that expensive. expensive. So what yes. more when they get to the premise? Exactly. How yeah. much are they going to price yeah. their replica shirt? Yeah. 1,000. 1,000. 1,500. Because how many people actually get to watch Nchanga Rangers at the moment? Mm. Yeah, it's 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 something hard to understand. Mm-hmm. I, I actually laughed my lungs out when I saw it because mm-hmm. <laughs> that can get me at least three Liverpool jerseys. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as if I was in Changa Rangers fan, okay, let me say my team, Red Arrows, uh, are pricing their jerseys at that much. And, mm-hmm. you know, I've got, I can buy a jersey that looks exactly like the Liverpool jersey at 120. Mm-hmm. And I have the opportunity to get three. What, what, what do you think I would do? I am very patriotic, but in this situation, I would really like uh, to advise whoever is at the top to rethink mm-hmm. because, I mean, you need all the support you have. Mm-hmm. You need to be uniform as fans, but mm-hmm. if your fans can't avoid your jerseys, then what makes the whole point yeah, of getting as many people exactly, on board. Exactly, exactly. You know, fans are patriotic, yeah. but they won't be exploited. Yeah, exactly. Simple. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they won't be exploited. 750 chair, that's that's money for rent, right? Yeah. Uh, in Kalingalinga, someone can get himself a good house. Yeah, a decent, a decent, uh, yeah, a decent uh, one bed, one bedroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can find it at that amount. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, convert it almost into a full tank of fuel. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so almost, it's literally a full tank. Yeah. If I'm driving, if I'm driving a Toyota Passo, I'll almost actually, I'll probably hit full tank. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Forty uh, liters. Yeah. yeah. And um, you know, to some bad. people, that's a salary. Yes. Yeah. Very true. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why is that? Spend, spend it on one. Uh, yeah. On a replica jersey. Mm-hmm. Convert mm-hmm. it in green back. That's fifty dollars. Yeah. Fifty dollars. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a lot of money. Um, it's a bit um, on the higher side. I must. I must admit. Mm-hmm. Unless we are being told that it's a suit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that maybe replica it's is a the suit. shirt and the shorts. Well, uh, and the socks. Maybe. Uh-huh. The maybe. Set, maybe. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you see. Um, most of the guys that watch football, you know, are from, um, you know, um, townships, like in my township, you know, Kamitondo, you know, all those, Ch- 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 Chwempala, Ch- uh-huh. Ch- Chifubu, you know, that kind of thing. And most of them cannot be able to afford. Less privileged. Yeah, less privileged, you know, Absolutely. and they cannot afford to be able to part away with uh-huh. the 750. But it's a love, for the love of the game, uh-huh. they are able to support the team, they're able to fill the stadium. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they've got difficulties even to pay the 20 quarter that is asked for, you mm-hmm. know, in terms of uh, getting into the stadium. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One may argue to say, no, a jazz is a one off. When you buy, then you have it for the for the complete year. But uh, it's something that is, you know, uh, too much mm-hmm. on the part of the part of the supporter. So we hope. Um, uh, Exco at Inchanga Rangers will have to look into it and be able to see if, like, you know, Jerry hasn't get it. The manufacturer is expensive. Mm-hmm. Why try not, uh, you know, other sources? If it was made in Bangkok, in Thailand, you can be able to go to China and be able to, to, to have it, you know, made in China. If you can't do it in what China... Was it? We, I don't know. Uh, Hamel. Yeah. Hamel. Hamel. Hamel, yeah. Hamel. If you can't do it in China, you can as well do it in, in Bangladesh, in Dhaka. Because, you see, mo- most of these, you know, things that we see now here, uh, made in uh, made in the uh, uh, Western world. Those things are made in Dhaka, in Bangladesh. Mm-hmm. So you can as well be able to go there and uh, you know source something that is cheaper. Mm-hmm. You can, a management can send somebody, Exco can send somebody mm-hmm. to go and uh, you know f- um, mark, look for the market and they'll find something that is cheaper, but quality. Mm-hmm. You know, and when you look at seven thousand. Um, Maparo talks of a Liverpool jersey, says you can buy three, four out of that. Even mm-hmm. a Manchester United jersey, you can be able to buy to buy four out of that. Absolutely. Yeah. So you'd rather go for a Manchester jersey as opposed to buy a Nchanga Rangers jersey. Mm-hmm. And look at where Nchanga Rangers are. Mm-hmm. They are in Division 1. They could, yeah, they could have one. been worse if they didn't buy, you know, the um, Circuit City for them to be where they are. Yeah, yeah. Now you go to outprice yourself. How many? You know, the whole idea of the replica jersey, sometimes we miss the concept. Mm-hmm. 100 or 200. It's a game of numbers. Well, it's a game of numbers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sell 200, I mean, 2,000 at 200 quarter, how much are you getting? Mm-hmm. Because quickly, you'll be able to get back to the source yeah. and buy another one. Yeah. That's a, that's the whole thing. Mm-hmm. So in ending, let me also, you know, um, acknowledge Mr. Julius uh, Mvula. Mm-hmm. He works for Lusaka City Council. He's a firefighter. Okay. Um, we met in, um, you know, um, when there was an accident at mm-hmm. Chelston Catholic Church on mm-hmm. Tuesday morning, um, mm-hmm. 05, when I was doing my jogging, and uh, when I was passing, he saw me, you know, there was a nasty, ac- a nasty accident, and uh, the ambulance, everything, imagine some place was there, and uh, they were treating somebody, uh, somebody on the on the tarmac. Mm-hmm. But there he was, you know, working for the nation, 
you know. And he just took a few minutes off and uh, said hi to me. Please um, pass my regards to the uh, to the panel. He's one, you know, listener of the program. Um, so I thought it necessary to, you know, to make mention of his name, oh, Mr. Julius Sem, um, Julius Sembula. Okay, thank you very much, uh, We're Mr. For, Mr. Mr. Moore. Yeah, for yeah. taking time to listen into uh, the program. So the number for your text messages and calls as well is zero nine six zero two hundred four nine zero. Adam Chiokoma via YouTube says, uh, "Good morning, sir Lorenzo, Mr. Jerry, Chair Yotam, uh, Jailos Mwanza." Changa Rangers don't know business. Uh, that's according to Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Christopher Peter's team, Liverpool. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll get to that point. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, now, what uh -huh. Adam says is Changa Rangers doesn't know business. But they would maybe counter and say, we know business. That's why we pegged it at this price. Because maybe we want to give it to, you know, to uh, what normally happens. Because that's your mind. Uh -huh. You know, they would uh, be able to give it to the miners. And uh -huh. the miners, you know, they could do the deduction out of, uh, you know, the month. Yeah, or maybe they've looked at their fan base and said we've got uh, about mm -hmm. a thousand fans who are up to who are well, well off and yeah. they'll be able to buy these just to and then we're good to go. Yeah. 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 Then they just take them to the sections and the month end there's that deduction which comes to off to Changa Rangers. But you must accept that um there are people that are not working for Changa Rangers, but they've got a love for the for the club. Uh -huh. So you need also to look at those, you need to cater for those people. Mm -hmm. and you know, they're even like uh, school kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you'd like kids to have uh, replica shirts as well, but then when a parent looks at it and says, seven fifty on a school, mm -hmm. a kid's jersey, mm -hmm. they'll think they'll twice. Think twice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, let me get a list of call too before we make progress on the next talking item on the agenda. Zero nine six zero two hundred four nine zero. All right, Kalusha Walia has appealed to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. We're discussing that next. All right, here we go. Uh, you are through to back page. Uh, your name and where you're calling us from. Please go ahead. Okay. I think everyone supports your coach, Tavan Changa. Uh huh. We have infant rating. Uh huh. The party of the war is 700. In our period of my members. Uh huh. My executive is 700. Uh huh. Then my fans. I don't know why I say, I wish I had 300. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, and Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Liverpool is in trouble. Mm. All right. Well, well, I know you guys are able to qualify yeah. uh, to take on it. Okay. So here we go with our next one. You're through to back page. Uh, come again with your name. Amon, please kindly speak up, Amon, and make your contribution. Uh huh. Double Warriors. Pankana Stadium, yes. M. Goye. What to form 10? That will be the winner. Yes. Uh, come again, you're not clear about Amon. Oh, oh auto shop opposite national meaning. Okay. Oh. All right, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank thank you, Amon. All right, thanks. All right, okay. We'll get the other two later. Uh, gentlemen, Carlos Shawalia appealed to the Court of Arbitration for Sport and uh, I, I, actually requesting for a stay of elections on the 28th of March, uh, in the year 2020. 
Uh, now, that is one angle that this uh, whole thing has actually taken, one twist in the whole mix of things. Now, let's let's probably pick it up from that perspective. That is what has been dominating headlines the last few days, where he's applied to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. But there are other schools of thought uh, that have been wondering, uh, Chair Mapalo and Jerry, has he exhausted all channels within FIFA for him to go to the Court of Arbitration for Sport? Let's pick it up from that perspective. Yeah, we are all given to understand that uh, normally what um, is supposed to be the sequence is, mm -hmm. um, you know, you get to FIFA. Mm -hmm. Because FIFA are people that um, look mm -hmm. after football mm -hmm. the world over. And mm -hmm. uh, if FIFA doesn't give you a good hearing, mm -hmm. then that's a time you can be able to uh, appeal to CAS, which is a court of arbitration. Mm -hmm. And uh, thereafter, we've seen a number of um, you know athletes, mm -hmm. yeah, including him um, uh, on South African um, um, what's her name, the South African uh, athlete, Ikasta Semenya. She's also she had the you know the International Athletics Federation uh, mm -hmm. sanctioned her over the you know the testosterone, mm -hmm. and uh, what she did was to go to CAS, you know, for her to be able to have a fair hearing. Mm -hmm. And uh, even in the similar case of. Uh, the same Kalusha after he was banned, uh -huh. you remember very well. They went to CAS and they, uh, sorry, yeah, he go to no, he didn't go to CAS. It was he appealed to FIFA, and thereafter there was he was uh, you know they, 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 that sentence was uh, reduced. Now I don't know whether getting straight to CAS uh -huh. is the right option. Uh -huh. I'm sure the people that were able to write that letter, they tell them lawyer. Mm -hmm. Massive um, understands law, and mm -hmm. uh, they understand the channels of uh, you know um, appeal, mm -hmm. and hence they went you know direct to CAS. So as to whether that's the right route for now, speaking for myself, I don't know whether that's that's the right uh, you know channel. But mm -hmm. my perception, my t my fear is mm -hmm. they may be able to throw it back and say mm -hmm. exhaust all the channels, mm -hmm. and all the channels it will mean first and foremost beginning with the Zambian FA. Because you begin with the Zambian FA, because those are the people that had, uh, you know, sidelined him, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, uh, vetted him. And from there, that's the time you can be able to climb into FIFA if the hearing is not okay with the Zambian FA. Mm -hmm. Then he can be able to climb into FIFA and uh, be able to appeal to FIFA. And thereafter from FIFA, that's when he can be able to go to the Court of Arbitration. But now we have a scenario where Karu has gone straight to the Court of Arbitration. So we are waiting and see. What mm -hmm. will be able to come out of there? Uh, but why have they jumped? Fish? Yeah, I'll be. Yeah, that's the well, question. I'm, I'm not, an as well, I'm not too sure. But um, for someone to have gone straight, given that there are Italian lawyers that are doing the job, lawyers that have sat on them, you know, they on FIFA on many boards, maybe they're in the know. They understand better that this is the best route that we can be able to talk mm -hmm. about. But speaking for myself, I'll be able to express my, uh, you know, um, preservation. In, in wanting to say that the best route should have been FIFA first, mm -hmm. then thereafter be able to appeal to the court of arbitration. But maybe I was looking at the time if you go yeah, to FIFA, then yeah, maybe the time frame doesn't because move favorably, then it yeah. goes to cast by that time, 28 March would have come and gone. Yeah, because you see, even in that letter that has but come, still needs to, to follow yeah, the they have said that uh, elections must be you know deferred or postponed mm -hmm. such that you know the that hearing can be given, um, you know. Uh, uh, attention and time by the court of arbitration. Uh -huh. So really, we we'll also wait and see how it will be able to pan out. But if there are people that are knowledgeable, you know, outside there or even on the panel, uh -huh. they can let us know whether that was the right route to be able to go straight to CAS uh -huh. and you know uh, wait for a favorable. It doesn't decision. seem like it was the, uh, the correct uh, route to take. Uh, like you said, uh -huh. you're supposed to exhaust. Oh, all channel. the channels, mm -hmm. and then is that's when you go to the court of mm -hmm. arbitration, like the last resort. Okay, I've tried all, every all, every angle, uh, and it's like uh, they're not giving me a fair hearing. I'm not happy with the ruling. That's when you so go let to me the go cast, to cast, mm -hmm. and then they are going to to rule. But uh, in this case, most likely they'll say you haven't exhausted all the channels. Go back to FIFA, let them rule, and uh, if uh, you're not happy with their ruling, that's when you should come to the mm -hmm. CAS. Yeah, because it's speaking specifically so it's about the outcome, right? Yeah, Spe speaking specifically about the Zambian FA, they may say he, he could have an argument to say I appealed. You remember he he applied yeah, appealed, for nomination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wasn't picked. Then he had he did the appeal. The appeal was also thrown out. So there you can be able to have a ground to say I did I'm appeal. Done to, I'm FA. done with the Zambian FA. Mm -hmm. So the best now route would have been FIFA. FIFA. Mm -hmm. From FIFA because Cass, Cass as it is. No. 
it's a court of no. arbitration. Come it's a court of appeal. Yeah, it's a cast is a court of appeal, a court of arbitration. Mm -hmm. So where you felt, where things haven't worked out well, that's when you rush into cars. The and court it's not of arbitration. For football, like yeah, it's not for, for football. Sport. Yeah, that's why I gave even an example but, but, of Cas how, how about Richard Casala's case? Yeah, he really? didn't take it to FIFA, right? He took it straight to Cas after being banned by FAS. And then it seems Cas actually ruled favorably or ruled in his favor and uh, ordered that this case be actioned in a Zambian court. Oh, there we are. There we are. That's a good example. So meaning, yeah. even in Carlos' case, uh, Cas might just as well rule in his favor, notwithstanding the fact that he didn't exhaust all channels at FIFA because Richard Kazala could have probably been told to also exhaust all the channels at FIFA before going to Cas. Didn't Kazala go to FIFA? No. He went straight to Cas. I don't think there's anything on record, but I stand to be corrected, gentlemen. If he did go to FIFA... Unless he did and it wasn't yeah. shared. So that's that's one angle now that we're learning, that mm. uh, you know Richard Kazala went straight to Cas. So maybe that's how Kalusha has also taken root into... Uh, Going straight to cast. Maybe because no follow. maybe because um, the constitution that uh, Football Association of Zambia adopted is generally the same as FIFA. Uh, in that this whole integrity test, mm -hmm. it all stems from FIFA. So maybe doing that, he feels maybe FIFA will rule in Faz's favor mm -hmm. if if he goes straight to FIFA. So maybe he's been advised. His legal advisors have told him to go straight to the court of arbitration. Maybe people say yes, integrity mm -hmm. tests is, uh -huh. is yeah. something that you are required. You didn't to pass the integrity test, oh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. So what, what? So speculating here. Yeah. So whatever the circumstances, I mean, we um, wish him well mm -hmm. in that uh, you know route that uh, is taken, and uh, let's wait and see what uh, you know the court of arbitration will be will be able to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Zambian FA, I'm sure they've also got uh, their own reasons that uh, they would be able to advance. Because the uh, court of administration is not a question of, uh, like, you have gone in, then it's a one-way traffic. No, mm -hmm. even the, uh, the Zambian FA will have to defend themselves, yeah. will have to offer, you know, um, um, reasons as to why they've decided to buy. So we await and see how it will be able to come out. And talking of Kazala, uh, mm -hmm. so the court ruled that he should be given an opportunity to be heard. And I guess this will come, is it at the AGM, for him mm -hmm. to yes. like try and... Uh, okay. But, no, but, yeah, but that is too late because yeah. even if that will be a moment that elections will be done. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, you'll, be given a, you'll be given a window to be heard, to be talked, I mean, to be talked. To talk. Then you won't have time to you, file in. Yeah, you won't have time to file in. You won't have, you won't have time to, you know, time to campaign. Yeah, time would have elapsed. So uh, that one... Uh, <laughs> it's an exercise in fertility. Yeah. I must, I must maybe if, if he wants to stand in the next in, in, in four years' time. Yeah, four years yeah, well, yeah, maybe yeah. if uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe if that's the. Uh, but you need also to understand that four years' time is too long. Yeah, too long. Other people will, will come up. You know. So he wanted to stand as president this time, but he was. Uh, yeah, he did appeal. You know, he wanted to stand as president, and uh, his uh, his. Uh, yeah, he failed based on uh, integrity uh, test. Mm -hmm. So that's it. We also. You know, wait and mm -hmm. see what will be able to happen. Yeah. But time is running out. Mm -hmm. Today is um, seventh. Seventh. Yeah, seventh. Yeah. Provincial elections should be in place. Mm -hmm. Then we are talking of twenty eighth, which means we are only remaining with uh, three weeks uh -huh. at most. Yeah. You know. days. Yeah. 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 If so. Madam Lucy was here, I'm sure she would have been so annoyed at this. Excited because she's been complaining. She just says, "I want." the best to happen to football we've been talking about this for too long <laughs> yeah yeah what, whatever happens i mean yeah. let's let's be fair you know frank with ourselves okay. whatever happens uh -huh. let our football go on yeah indeed. because uh, frank is speaking football is bigger than anybody any yeah, individual exactly. any Absolutely. any given individual Absolutely. uh leaders will come and go but our game will still remain players will come and go but our game will still remain Absolutely. so it's important Certainly. yeah in, it's important to hold the sanctity of our game so that uh, you know it goes up. We are able to, you know, uh, play games because you know when football is played, Zambians are happy. Mm -hmm. Everybody is happy. Yeah. Everybody would want to go to the stadium. Everybody would want to identify with a player, you know, mm -hmm. or, or with the Zambian national team. Mm -hmm. Everybody would want to be part and parcel of that game. Mm -hmm. So let our game, you know, go on, live on, uh, be played, um, because leaders come and go. It's 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 natural. Uh, the game must continue. Let me get to read some text messages, uh, Jeremy, coming through. This one is uh, from Shadrach Sakalika, who says, I'm enjoying good programming. Why 
Kalu wants to be, why does Kalu want to be vice president? It's better to be advisor than bring confusion. Uh, what is so special about that position? Titamba live, Sakalika. Yes, you're watching us live via YouTube, Sakalika Shadrick. Benjamin Chanda says, where is Lady Lucy? All right, Lucy, our son ain't too well, but we're wishing him a quick recovery. She'll be back next Saturday. All right, uh, and then Nobo Mayembe says, hi, back page, I'm grateful for the program. Watching from Doha, Qatar. Oh, wow. I'm always watching to keep in touch with my home. Have oh, a good, good day. That's good. Thank you very much. Enjoy Doha, yourself Mayembe. in Qatar. Yeah. So please, <laughs> Mayembe, invite as many as you can. Yeah. We're trying to get a better feed uh, of uh, YouTube now. So invite as many as you can. Uh, to actually watch us uh, from your end. Where well, Liverpool were crowned uh, World Cup champions, <laughs> eh? <laughs> and and, that, and just to remind him that uh, come 2022, the Zambia national team will be there to be able to uh, play yeah. the World Cup. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Great. All right, then uh, Shadrick again says, but Chair, do we have positive, uh, do we have a positive future on our national team to qualify to AFCON next year? Um, okay, all right. So that's Akalika Shadrick. Then Benjamin Chanda says, Football is a unifying factor we have. So let the minister not intervene in uh, in sports. Okay. Um, uh, let uh, Mawere be brought back to sports. We miss him. Okay. So that's coming through from Benjamin Chanda. Ben Muma says, uh, good morning, family, following you on YouTube. I like the quality of the video. Keep it up. Thank you very much, uh, Benny Muma. So, all right. So, uh, those of you that are, are listening yeah, just a to quick us. one on the um, 2021, uh, you know, Africa Cup of Nations. As long as uh, you know, we still have four more games to play. We still have a chance that we can be able to qualify. Mm -hmm. uh, we begin this month end with uh, the Botswana in a two-leg affair. If we can be able to pick, you know, three points off mm -hmm. at Hero Stadium, then three, four days later into Francis Town or Aberon and be able to win that game, uh, it means six points. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, Algeria will come visiting. Uh, at home, Hero Stadium, mm -hmm. we lost 5-0. Mm -hmm. There were all sorts of reasons that we advanced that it was cold, it was raining, you know. <laughs> but uh, we hope this time around when they come into Lusaka, we can yeah. be able to win that game. Okay. So okay. that's okay. it. All right. We still have a chance. Okay. All right. Uh, Isaac Pichichi de la Masia, welcome on board. You're catching us via mobile phone. Indeed. How are you? I'm doing very well, thanks. Uh, you are somewhere, somewhere in Lusaka Rural. Is it on the outskirts of Lusaka? Yes, Chongwe. Okay, you've blown your cover. I was trying to keep you under wraps. <laughs> Nonetheless, you can carry on, brother. Uh, indeed. Um, uh, uh, colleagues in the, in the studio, here yeah, I've heard your voice, Jerry, and uh, my father. I hope I've got everybody there. Yes, you have. You have. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, I, I just want to weigh in with uh, regards to. Uh, the green card was then decided to get this case to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Um, if you look at the electoral code that was adopted and ratified by the first council on uh, the 1st of February, it is the only and the uh, right direction that he could take. He, remember that uh, after the appeals from his team of throughout his case, this is the only provision in as far as the electoral code for this particular election is concerned. Uh -huh. There is no provision for him to go to FIFA. So it's absolutely correct, correct in going directly to the Court of Arbitration for sport. So um, I heard Jerry and uh, Chair uh, alluding to the fact that uh, uh, he, he probably jumped the gun and he should have gone to FIFA first before going to the Court of Arbitration for sport. The only uh, thing that Mr. Wyatt needs to do, which he has done, I must make mention, is that you need to copy in the, uh, the governing body of world football, which is FIFA, as you lodge in that complaint to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, which he did as well. So, uh, in terms of his appeal to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, uh, and uh, what is uh, obtained in terms of uh, the electoral code, he is, he is correct in going that route, and that's why I think his lawyer decided to go this particular route. Okay, excellent. Okay. Isaac, for clarifying. Yeah, that's, thank that's you for good. clarifying. Yeah. Thank that's you why, very much. Yeah. All right. That's why you remember okay. I said, mm -hmm. if there are people out there that mm -hmm. can be able to tell us, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, because we, we are not a custodian of wisdom. Uh, there, are, there are others that could be in the know. And uh -huh. uh, Isaac has, uh, you know, uh, directed Given us a clear picture. that that's the best route that he could be able to take. And mm -hmm. uh, we're happy. That's why if you so saw in my um, argument, I said, the Italian lawyers know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. 
uh-huh. because um, they've sat on the FIFA board, they've sat on a number of boards, and they understand exactly what they are doing. So they are on the right, uh, you know, path. Mm-hmm. So hopefully, mm-hmm. uh, the case will be heard and. Uh, a decision will be taken. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right. Then uh, uh, Shadrach says, uh, Mutambik alive, looking good. You're such a sedulous team. We thank God for you. <laughs> sedulous, he says. I don't even know what it means. Jerry, do you know what it means? No, I'm hearing about it. <laughs> Google it up. <laughs> no, no, we'll look it up. We'll look it up. Okay. All right. Um, uh, thank you very much, Sakalika. And then Alithia says, Why won't say I see you? I know you are Kalampa since Uli won't say. All the best to my team, Kalampa, as they take on Warriors today. Yeah, I'm behind you, eh? I'm just short of wearing that red Kalampa, a replica, in supporting the team. Nobo says, can't wait to see the Zambia national team uh, at the World Cup. Now, gentlemen, the next item on the program uh, has to do with the women's team in qualifying for Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. In the first leg, away in Cameroon, it was 3-2 uh, in favor of Cameroon. We managed to nick in two away goals. All we need is probably just to score one an answered goal, and then we are through. On our way, it goes through to Tokyo 2020. If we fall through, still we have one flicker of hope against uh, is it Chile in the playoffs for us to qualify. The women are quite impressive. So the return leg, uh, uh, Chair Mapalo and Jerry, is on Tuesday at Nkoloma Stadium. I remember Isaac uh, telling me that why wasn't the game just played on a Monday, which is a public holiday, to get as many people behind the team to pack it to the to, to pack Nkoloma Stadium to the rafters to give the ladies all the necessary support. Let me start with you, Jerry, on this one. Um, I think uh, these uh, dates are predetermined. Mm-hmm. Way you before, can't change. Yeah, them. you can't just bring it forward or whatever, mm-hmm. unless there's a very comp- compelling reason. Uh-huh. So um, the match there, Tuesday, I mm-hmm. think um, uh, the open wing will be free, mm-hmm. free entry. Mm-hmm. So fans are... Uh, being uh, requested to turn up in large numbers to support the girls. I mean, three-two mm-hmm. defeat. It's a, it's a good result. Yeah, it's not, not the best. Yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, at least it's something which uh, can be a launch pad to mm-hmm. qualifying to to the to the games. Because we actually scored first in Cameroon. Yeah. Cameroon had to come from behind. So they got three, two away goals. Mm-hmm. So like you said, one nil takes them through. Yeah. I think even two one uh, takes them through on on a, on, a, on away goals. Mm-hmm. So let's support the girls. Uh, mm-hmm. We've missed out on the Olympic Games, uh, soccer, the Olympic Games for, for so long. I mean, last time we were there, as mm-hmm. men's team was 1988. Yeah. 88, yeah. Pretty much. So let's support long the time girls. Uh, turn out, in, t- turn out, turn up in numbers, mm-hmm. and uh, I think they can get the job done. Uh, mm-hmm. They just need to to watch the nerves, mm-hmm. keep their heads level, and so on, and uh, focus on scoring, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and also not conceding as many goals as um, mm-hmm. they conceded last time. But uh, good result from the ladies. Mm-hmm. And we're very, we're very expectant that they'll make it through to the Olympic Games. Absolutely. Mapalo, oh, a 1-0 scoreline takes us through. We are literally at an inflection point in qualifying. Um, I will, first of all, I'd like to say I'm absolutely proud and happy as a Zambian, seeing as to how the women's game is vastly improved mm-hmm. um i'd like to commend whoever is in charge um it's it's very good or oh, uh, i'm actually pro- i you know cameroon are uh, some of the heavyweights in africa when it comes to women's football mm-hmm. and men's but uh they usually represent africa um they were just there recently at the world cup mm-hmm. um just got knocked out uh, i think against england Mm-hmm. Yes, and it's it's really good to see our uh, women compete. They were recently in the Africa Cup as well, mm-hmm. did well there. So I'm very confident and expectant. Um, I hope I can make it to the stadium 15 hours, depending on how uh, my program will be. Mm-hmm. And um, I hope the girls can do what they've been doing best, which is playing good football. We're even sending a lot of uh, we're even sending some to Europe now, and it's just it's it's good strides forward. And uh, maybe even if even if uh, God forbid 
we do not we get knocked out by Cameroon, we still have a good chance against Chile mm -hmm. to qualify for the Olympics and mm -hmm. be represented as a nation after a very, very long time. Is it 30, 32 years? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm I'm really expectant and uh, all the best to the Shipolo Polo. Uh, we know you can do it and we'll be behind you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, all right. A quick call uh, before chair comes on. Antele Daka. How, good morning to you too, Antele Daka. Atumuri Uri. Antele, did it we know? Was just, yeah, I was hearing you on the other program, you know. <laughs> when you said you, you've come to like him now. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Uh, our condolences and tell it darker. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah. there, were, there were stories that uh, Micho had threatened to resign. Can we verify that in, that story to be true? Well, it's a, it's a story that came out in the papers. At, um, um, first, you need to get to the gist of it. Um, mm -hmm. You remember that he was unveiled. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, there were a bit of uh, problems here. And, and there. there was no government representative. Yeah, there was no government representative. Kind of yeah. But uh, thereafter, he was unveiled. After being unveiled, um, uh, he, he got down to, to work mm -hmm. and uh, thereafter. Um, is it two weeks ago when we had the Minister of um, Youth and Sport mm -hmm. indicating that he, he has no idea about, mm -hmm. about the coach? And um, now it has come to you know to um, to the open. The permanent secretary mm -hmm. has indicated that actually the contract is with the attorney general. The attorney general is looking into the finer details. He's studying the contract. He's studying the contract. You remember where government is able to displace money. Mm -hmm. They have to, you know, look at the finer details of the contract. Mm -hmm. Because there's a $15,000, uh, there's a $10,000 that will have to come from government. Mm -hmm. 15000 will come from the Zambian mm -hmm. FA. So where government money is, you know, that's public money. Mm -hmm. That's why it, they has have, to be yeah, it has to be accounted for. And again, you need to understand that in future, there, there could be, you know, the, uh, suits or, the you know, uh, Mitchell could sue, or the government would want to sue. So, mm -hmm. so they need to look at the contract, the final details, the final you know details of the, of the contract. So I think uh, let's not uh, 
jump gun or worry so much. Mm -hmm. uh, the government is looking at the contract. The Attorney General is setting his eyes on it. And mm -hmm. thereafter, like the PS has indicated, mm -hmm. all things will be normalized. Mm -hmm. And for me, I think I need to commend Mitchell. He's mm -hmm. still working. Regardless of all these things that um, mm -hmm. that are, that that are being happened. said or happening, mm -hmm. he's still picking up a squad. And uh, come Tuesday, Wednesday, we are playing Malawi in a friendly game. Mm -hmm. And thereafter, Botswana, like I've indicated, you know, all those things. Mm -hmm. So certain times, you know, negative reports are not helping the coach. Mm -hmm. Sometimes as a coach, he's a human being. When you get to hear such kind of things. It can affect you. It can, it can affect him. He's a human being. He, but he, he's, he's able to buy a newspaper. Yes, he's able to read. Radio, yeah, um, I just saw that. TV. Yeah. I just saw the other day he was, you know, talking to the same journalist at in a, a, a national stadium where, you know, the team was practicing. Uh -huh. So, uh, really, Frank, I mean, frankly speaking, uh -huh. uh, let's give the coach enough room to work, to understand. The government, through the permanent secretary, the Minister of Youth and Sport, has indicated that the contract is with Attorney General. Uh -huh. It's being looked into. So, when, you know, government is done, all things will be done, the, the signing will be done, and everything will be done. And, you know, we'll move from there. Now, coming to the women. But it's an anomaly, yeah? Um, yeah, it is an anomaly. We must admit. that working yeah. without a contract in place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A month has passed, so there was, I think... Uh, and it was unveiled. You at the end of, uh, of uh, February, I guess. Yeah. It was unveiled by FAS. So, I think we should be doing things in the right order. In an orderly yeah. manner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And manner. you know, the first person to cry foul was the Zambian FA vice president, Mr. Rixman. It seemed we'll say we indicated that, after all, the coach is yet to sign a contract. Mm -hmm. So that's how it came to the fore now that, oh, this is a situation that is obtaining. But we have an assurance from the PS. Uh, he's indicated that the contract is with the Attorney General. So let's wait and see. But like Jenna has indicated, yes, there was an anomaly. Because when you unveil somebody, everything must be to the letter. Yeah. He should have signed his contract. Everything should have been done. And that unveiling would have, uh, you know, uh, capped it all. Yeah. That this is ours. But the gentleman is working now. Uh, and uh, he's supposed to be paid. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We're <laughs> no, catching yeah. a breather. Uh -huh. Well, just uh, say women football very quickly. I think uh -huh. we need to commend the girls for a job well done in terms of uh, the you know uh, losing to Cameroon 3-2. I think it was a very good game. Uh -huh. Two goals away, that helps. But when you get down, remember that we beat Botswana to be where we are. Uh -huh. Botswana had knocked out South Africa. Uh -huh. So we had to beat Botswana in a two-legged affair. Uh -huh. Then we met the Kenyans who were regarded as treated Kenyans. Uh -huh. That everybody thought, you know, even the coach, the Kenyan coach, said it's Kenya that we have to travel to Tokyo 2020 for the Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. But we were able to triumph over the, over the Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, now we have the Cameroonians. We went to Yaounde. Mm -hmm. We were able to come out 3 2. We only need a goal for us to be able to qualify. So we have a pretty good team. Yeah, we have, we've got a very good team. Um, very good looking football. at how we've, uh, you know, progressed. And we only need a goal. Mapalo was saying we still have, uh, oh, is it, um, you know, Lorenzo, that we can still play Chile even if we don't beat Cameroon? Well, no, 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 that's a wrong route. Let's finish, Let's the, finish job the job now. done. Okay. Let's have it done. All right, so catch us on the other side. Uh, we're going to cut, trans cut transmission a little bit on YouTube. We'll definitely reconnect you for part two right on the program. So uh, please join us on the other side. If you want to watch us live, uh, please log on to YouTube. Look for Lorenzo Entertainment. Uh, hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to watch us live and direct right on the program. So don't you go away. We'll be back in a teeny tiny bit right on this particular program. Stay tuned.